So this is what I called my Stormtrooper M4A1. So I kind of stole that name from the ARP, uh, all-white ARP-9 that I have that calls itself a Stormtrooper edition. But I thought because it's got kind of a, a grayish color plus the white that, hey, what else should I call it, right? So that's what I'm calling it, my Stormtrooper edition. M4A1. So it started off as a Gen 8 M4A1. I put a nice M95 spring and metal barrel from X-Force TAC USA in there. So that definitely helps up the FPS, right? Then I've got this cool, very custom printed kit I made that's just a one-of-a-kind printed kit uh, by modifying different STLs that I found and kind of creating that handguard and just going from there. So the stock, of course, is an STL print that looks just like that, but the whole front handguard is something that I customized. I customized the riser, too, because I wanted to tie in the hexagons here because I had them throughout, right? So that's what I did there. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll take a little closer look at it. Now I did, of course, I printed this in a fashion where it's got the connector, where it connects perfect to the receiver. However, I found that the receivers can be slightly different between each manufacturer. So it was slightly loose, so I put one tiny anchor screw in. So it does slide just on like it's supposed to, but it was a little loose, which I didn't like, so I put one tiny anchor screw in. But all you'd have to do is remove that anchor screw and then it just twists, pulls right off, just like the standard factory barrel or handguard that comes on there, okay? I also removed the charging handle and put a little filler piece there just to do something different, right? Since these Gen 8s don't have priming, at least a lot of them don't have priming, some of them do, but this one did not. So if it, if it wasn't going to have priming anyway, I thought let's just remove the charging handle, try something different. Um, and that's what I did there. So I just filled that with that fill piece, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at it, right? So I have the nice white drum plus a white standard stick mag. We'll flip it around here. Of course, there's not much different to see on this side other than where the, um, you know, the little ejection port is. I just put an ejection port cover. And again, I carried over and added the hexagon design there. So kind of a monochromatic look. This is actually a very light gray. I'm not sure how that shows up on the camera. It looks like it shows up pretty good looking at the camera from here. And then we've got the white, which has a pearlescence over the top of it. So there it is. It is my Stormtrooper M4A1. It's got some nice upgrades from xforcetacusa.com. So check them out if you're looking to do any sort of upgrades or buy blasters. They've got some awesome blasters that are hard to find anywhere else shipping from the U.S. Because... X-Force Tech is based down in Louisiana, and he ships everything from the USA. So everything ships fast. So I know that's important to a lot of you. All right, so comments or questions, post them below. Let me know what you think. If you uh, do have any questions about this or anything, I try to answer all of them. Of course, please like videos, guys. Please make sure you're subscribed, and please participate in the monthly giveaways. Thanks for the support. Check back. I'll post a demo video where we test the FPS with this one as well.